Callum, just first of all, how's preparation been this week? I've been really good. Uh, obviously, the boys have been in for, for Monday onwards and uh, been really, raring to go. Obviously, we've had a few kind of bad results uh, the past few weeks, uh, so just hoping to get back on track at the weekend. Yeah, you mentioned the recent results. It's been tight encounters, but you know, in, in terms of the, the boys' morale, you know, it's not dented that at all. No, definitely no. I mean, we've kept that spirit that we had through obviously the good run we had, uh, and the boys have been really at it this week in training. So, no, it's, it's as I'm saying, you kind of get two down, and you, you get defeat. So we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Yeah, you know, coming off a big unbeaten run like that, maybe to, to lose a few games, it, it can be tough. But you know, the boys know what's needed to, to try and get back into winning ways. Definitely, I think we've only obviously lost the, the games that we had with maybe a goal. So it's no, there's no much in the games that we've seen when we were winning as well. So I will be, we'll be ready to go tomorrow, and I think the, the boys are happy we're back at Capo as well. Yeah, you mentioned there that in terms of just a goal. When you look at the, you look at the recent games, one 0 against Dundee United, one 0 Hearts, and even two one at Partick. It's like you say, it's, it's games that we've lost, but not by a big margin. No, exactly. Uh, as I said, both won games, we won goal a lot. Uh, so there's no much in the league at all, as you see with the, the table, the, the points between maybe. F- Eighth to up to the playoff spots, so uh, aye, there's not much in it, and we know that we only need a few kind of adjustments to, to turn it around. Aye, and in terms of tomorrow's game against Infermon, obviously the last time out against them, that 5 0 win, probably the most complete performance of the season so far, but we know that it's going to be a completely different game, isn't it? Definitely, obviously they've turned a, a corner as well, and they'll be hurting for the last time we played them, so we've got to be really on our game tomorrow because they're going to come down here, obviously, with a bit of motivation due to that game, and aye, that was probably one of our our best performances of the season, if not our best. So if we can emulate that tomorrow, then it will, we'll be doing all right. And of course, they're coming off that one against Dundee United last week as well, so they'll be raring, raring to go. Definitely. As I said, I, with that and the motivation of the last game we played them, uh, they're going to be a good outfit. Uh, so we need to be really prepared. And obviously, and we, we've put some good performances in against the top teams in the league as well. So uh, there's nothing to fear, but we know that we're playing against a really good team tomorrow, so we need to be on our game. Obviously, Saturday's result meant that we dropped out of the, the playoff spots, but we're still right up there. You know, a win could have us right back in there. Aye, definitely. Uh, one win it changes everything. You know what I mean? Especially as we've seen, we've won so many games and we're looking so well. And now we've lost a few games, and it's you kind of drop down a wee bit. So it just shows you a couple of wins, and you're right back up there. So that's all we're focusing on is the, the next game. And it's crunch time of the season as well. Eight games left, and like, like we said, they're about playoffs, but still so much to play for. Aye, definitely. Uh, obviously, last year we just missed out, so this year we want to go win better, and there's no reason why we can't. So uh, we've got obviously, hopefully, a few players coming back within the next few weeks, uh, which would be great to help the team out. Uh, so I will, we'll be ready for tomorrow, uh, and hopefully we can get the result.